3D icons, kind of similar to 40 icons, but with one less dimension. And today, we're going to look at how we can create them inside of Figma. Now, we can take any icons from any icon pack inside of Figma and convert them into 3D. So let's jump straight in. So in the Figma community, I can go into icons and I can download any icon pack that I want. And I've already downloaded my favorite one, Phosphor Icons. And so I can go through this pack and grab a bunch of the icons that I want to convert. So we'll do uh, this globe. We'll go to our file and chuck that in. We'll also do this airplane. And we'll do one more for safekeeping. We'll do this anchor. I'm just going to select all of them ungroup them and we're going to take away their backgrounds and I'm actually going to change the stroke to be a little bit lighter and now group these and outline the stroke for them and with the stroke outlined we're going to flatten each icon so that it's one object so we'll use union on both of these groups to make them a single object and now we're going to use a plugin called oblique to make it 3d which I'll link in the description below. And we'll give our extrude a fill color and we'll make it gray just so that we can see it. We're gonna group it and then we can project that to see how it looks. So for me, that extrude is a bit long, so I'm just gonna update it and I'll also make the gray a little bit lighter. And now I'll just adjust the angle that the extrude is coming out at. And that looks pretty good to me, so I'll do the same for the next icons. And now that that's done, we'll get rid of our plugin and now all that's left to do is add the stroke to the icons. So first I'm going to re-click on these top icons and I'll add a stroke and we'll increase the size of these icons just so we can see the stroke a bit better and also change the color of that stroke. Let's make that two and that's about right. Now we want to add the same style to the back layers. So if we simply copy the style by using command alt C and then selecting those back layers and hitting command alt V, we can paste it in. Now already this is quite a cool effect, but I don't love the stroke coming in all across the shape. So we're gonna make these objects one shape. I'm gonna take away the stroke for now. I'm gonna individually flatten these selections. Then I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard to create a rectangle. I'm gonna put it over the icon and I'll just duplicate that to all three. And now I'm just gonna select the icon underneath and the rectangle on top and use intersect selection. And I'll do that to the other ones as well. Now, if the icons are looking a bit funny, it's not the end of the world just yet. We can actually scale the icons to fix this issue. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to hit K on my keyboard to scale the stroke with the objects. And I'm going to scale them until they look right. So now that anchor's looking good, and I'll do the same to the world. So it's a little bit of trial and error, but eventually you'll get your object looking right. And now we're going to move these objects to the bottom. And drag these layers back on top. Again, we're gonna copy the style of the icon by using Command-Alt-C, select all of the bottom layers and use Command-Alt-V. Now we can quickly go in and adjust these layers to fit a little bit better. So I'm gonna grab this top layer, move it into place, adjust that if I need to with my keyboard. Do the same to the plane and to our globe. Now the last thing I might want to do is add stroke to intersect the corners, which looks a little something like this. I'm going to hit P for my pen tool. I'm going to click where the corner starts and click where the corner finishes. I can hit escape and then use the same styling by copying and pasting it to connect up those corners. And I can do the same for any sharp corners on this object. And now that that's looking how I want it to, I can finally recolor it and put it in my project. So I'll select all change the stroke to be a dark blue, change the fill to be a light blue, and now copy these icons onto my canvas. And that's how we can create 3D icons inside of Figma. So let me know if you found this helpful or if you want more videos on Figma, or otherwise if you have any other video recommendations, feel free to leave those in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.